So first up today, there has been quite a bit of improvements on the PS3 and LAPS exploit for PS4 9.00. And as you can see right over here, this is Chameleon's repo, which is definitely the one that I'm preferring at the moment. But if I go over here to commits, I can see all kinds of things has recently been coming in. Now, you might know that in the past, I have been giving folks a reality check when it comes to, is this thing ready or not? And what I thought that I would do is just go ahead and run this very latest version on my PS4 9.00 and just put the footage in here. So let's do that now. Okay, so I have a PlayStation 4 on 9.00 and I am going to give this new version of PS3 Laps a shot. As you can see, I don't have Gold Hen running or anything like that. So I'm going to go over to my browser here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Settings and just make sure that the cookies and the website data is cleared. And now I am going to download the very latest version. Again, this is on June the 1st, 2025. It looks like the cache has been installed successfully. Wow. Holy cow. That is by far the absolute fastest and best run I believe I've ever had. I don't think I have ever gotten jailbroken on the first try using any of this. Okay, so I thought I would do a second run of that just to verify. As you can see, the timestamp up in the top here is 9.52 a.m., and if you look at the previous video, well, it will be earlier. So let's go ahead and try this a second time. And it looks pretty good. <laughs> wow. Okay. So a second run, and it looks like we are up and going. Okay. So let's go back to our menu here. And right there is Goldian. So very sweet. And so if you're asking, Michael, is this ready for prime time? I would say hold off just a little bit more. I think we're going to be there over maybe the next week or two, especially with all of the amazing progress that's currently been made. Next up, we have to talk about the remote Lua loader. As from my last episode of Homebrew News, a ton has been changed. Now, I will tell you a few of the things that I have noticed right off of the bat. Number one is, is that there has been another demo that has been added in here, and it is this one just right here. So I think that's IX She Tell Demo. You can obviously correct me if I am wrong, as well as the game for that itself. So again, if you are on the very latest firmware, and you create a Japanese account, then you can now download a number of demos. This demo, as well as Jinky Resurrection demo, which I mentioned in the last episode, or finally, this one right here. Now, another thing that was added in here was this Nora Princess and Stray Cat Heart HD. Now, this does require a few other things that you need to do in order to get this to work. But here is the full list of titles. If you've been looking for a Lua game, now you have a few more that you can pick from. Now, there was a ton of talk about this PS Free Plus Laps exploit that would get folks on 10.01 debug settings. And I haven't covered it yet because it's actually not really fully baked yet. And I typically tend to talk about things that is actionable for my audience. So if I go to payloads over here, then we can scroll down just a little bit and you will see there is a brand new payload that is called laps.lua. Now reading through this, it does state that it is a kernel exploit for PS5. Firmwares less than 10.01 or equal to 10.01 and it does have compatibility with the PlayStation 4. Now, what it says here is, is that on the PS5, it will jailbreak the game process as well as the PlayStation, allowing for more access to the system. And on the PlayStation 4, will only give arbitrary kernel read and write. 
Now, right now, as I stated just a moment ago, there really isn't anything that you can do with this as of today. And that is because, obviously, things like case stuff, which gets our fake packages running and a few of those other things, is not yet implemented on it. But if you do want to go ahead and give this a shot, then you can certainly do so by just coming up here and following one of these examples. Now, if you are working with the remote Lua loader, you might also be interested in this project right here from its PLK. And what this does is, is that it automatically loads the UMTX kernel exploit, elf loader, your elf payloads and Lua scripts, and it supports the PlayStation 5 firmware up to 7.61. So obviously I will leave a link to this project in the description below. And it seems like they're very quick at updating it because as you can see just four hours ago, they added in that new demo that I just talked about. Now, there was a post in Discord where the author stated that there is a work in progress version that they are building that has LAPS and that by default, it uses LAPS only for those systems on 8.00. Now, you can force it for all firmwares by changing this value right here to true. And so for those of you that does want to go ahead and check this out, you can go back to that link that I gave you and then click on testing right here and then go into save data and then you'll find a main.lua and then right up here is where you would want to change this value to true if you want it to use the LAPS exploit permanently. Next up, let's talk about Al Asif's PS4 payload guest. So over in his repo, I have taken a look at the commits, and what I can see is, is that there was an update right here on May the 30th, 2025, which was adding initial support for the PlayStation 5, and it does say that this is a work in progress. Now, this repo hasn't been updated since April the 4th, 2022, but it is very nice to see that now they're starting to begin to be some work for the PlayStation 5. Now, if you don't know what Payload Guest is, here is a screen of the application running on a PlayStation 4. And really, it was just a super easy way to put payloads on your hard drive or on a USB drive and then just execute them right there inside of the homebrew application. Now, obviously, if we had something like this, we would not have to go back to the browser in case maybe there is another payload that you want to send over. So great work on this. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Next up is something called Air PSX, which I've covered a couple of times on the channel here, but this is a remote management software for jailbroken PlayStation 4s and for PlayStation 5. So basically, you can do a number of different operations related to your console via a web-based desktop environment. Now, I'll pop up a screenshot here just so you know exactly what it looks like. But I went and I saw that over the last couple of days there's been a number of updates in here so yesterday it updated the web framework and then there was an upgrade to the sdk which was basically john tornblom's sdk that he manages for the playstation 5 profile bugs being fixed but then where it kind of got interesting was just a couple of days ago Lua scripting support was added. And then just about two weeks ago, there was a script store that is also now available where you can grab different scripts and run them through AirPSX. So this one, for example, will clear the browser cache just by running this script right here. So anyways, there's been quite a bit of improvements with AirPSX might be doing an updated video on that. I'll definitely leave a link to this project in case you want to go and check it out yourself. And then there was an update over here from Lightning Mods with ETAN 2.2b. And he says a new controller shortcut menu, save time and open menus in game after customizing the button shortcut. 
So it says that this will be available on release. So there is cheats menu, case stuff toggle, toolbox menu, and then a web man games menu. So let's look at this video together. Okay, so the very first thing that I noticed when looking at this video was down here in the very bottom. We now have ETA Hen Toolbox, and it has a neat little logo there. And so let's just let the video go ahead and play. And so from there, you can see there is a controller shortcut. And from here, it says Open Cheats Menu. And right now it's set to off, but it looks like there is a couple of different button combos that you can use here. So he picks one to long hold the options button. And yeah, it looks like you can turn on everything from there. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So there is a game. There he is. He's shooting in the game. Now he's went back to the menu here. And right there is all of the cheats. And he's turning on infinite ammo. So as you see, the ammo is not depleting and that's infinite health and all of that kind of good stuff there. So yeah, that's really, really cool. That's really, really nice. And there is case stuff where he used the combination to pause case stuff. So you can obviously get a little bit of a system performance if you turn off case stuff once you're inside of a game. And there is the cheats menu in case you long press it, which he had selected to do. And now you can also load, it looks like a number of games in that web man menu that we saw just a second ago. So, wow, lots of really great stuff that's been added in here. Odden Mods also shared another update about that, saying that after posting about the option to remap the share button single tab, I was told some people would rather long hold it, though so he has added that option in there. So, Obviously, ETA Hen is the go-to. I would not use anything outside of that for my games, for my homebrew apps, etc. I'm a big fan of ETA Hens and support this project wholeheartedly. I also wanted to mention John Tornblom's update of version 0.31 for his PS5 payload dev SDK. Now, I mentioned this just a second ago with Air PSX updating to that 0 0.31, but I didn't mention that included in that was for the kernel, he has added in 8.x, 9.x, and 10.x offsets. So anyways, you will probably start seeing a number of homebrew apps start to be updated, especially since this is now supporting some of those very latest PS5 firmwares. Next up, since this is such a gigantic game, I thought that I would mention it here, but Elden Ring Night Rain is now available as a fake package. Big thanks to Backport for doing this, and also what we can see that was included is the pre-order bonus. So down here you will see the firmwares for the PlayStation 4 that it is supported on. I have not tried this on the PlayStation 5, but I'm sure it would work just fine. But I know that this game is super popular, so I hope you get to enjoy it. Okay, to wrap up, I'm going to leave you all this chart here, which shows the latest PlayStation 5 progress. It says that debug settings is available from 8.00 to 10.01, and that for case stuff for 8.00, is more than likely to become first because the elf loader is working. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael.